I'm Rory Bell. I'm one of the anaesthetists here at UCH, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about epidurals. Epidurals are easily the most effective form of pain relief in labour. Not that everyone needs that, but if that's what you want, then an epidural is what you need. An epidural involves um, having a needle inserted in your back, as you probably know, um, but it's not particularly painful or unpleasant. We numb the skin of the back with some local anaesthetic first before we do it, and um, generally most people wouldn't regard it as a painful procedure. It's important to sit still while we do it, but um, the whole process probably takes about 15, 20 minutes to do. But of that, the time where we're in, involved with needles in, 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 in the back is probably about five minutes. Generally, they work really well, as I say, but there are a few ifs and buts about them. Um, they don't all work perfectly straight away. So about one in 10 gives us some trouble. Having said that, that means nine times out of 10, they work perfectly. Sometimes that can be that they don't work at all. Sometimes it can be that they're a little bit one-sided or, or, or a problem like that. Usually we can fix that. Occasionally we need to redo it. There are also a few possible side effects. The most important and probably the only really important one is headache. And that happens here about one in every 100 epidurals that we do. And it's important because it's not just any old headache, it is a particularly unpleasant headache. It would normally come the next day. And we can treat it, but the treatment often involves another epidural, so it's not just a simple headache. Other things, you, you can have a more common but less severe, so it can make you feel a bit itchy or a bit shivery. Um, or it can drop the blood pressure a bit. So if you have an epidural, we always pop a cannula or a drip into the arm as well. People often worry about two things with epidurals, I think. Um, backache, um, which epidurals do not cause. Um, having a baby and going through labour can give you backache that you didn't have before, but having an epidural makes no difference to the chances of getting that backache. Um, and nerve damage is the other thing. I think people always worry a little bit about an epidural. Um, any permanent lasting harm from an obstetric epidural is incredibly rare. It's probably about one in a hundred thousand chance, so which is far less than sort of problems that might come from driving your car or whatever. Um, so it's very, very rare and not really at a level that one would normally worry about. The other thing people sometimes are concerned about is whether the epidural will affect the labour, um, and it does have subtle effects on the labour. Um, these are much less now that the epidurals are mobile epidurals, um, which retain the sort of strength and some feeling in your lower part of your body. Um, but overall labour is a little bit longer, um, on average about 45 minutes longer, you spend about 15 minutes longer pushing, and you're slightly more likely to need some help with the actual delivery. You can imagine if you get very numb it's harder to push, um, so you're a little bit more likely to need what we would call an instrumental delivery, in other words the, the von twos or, or forceps, and that goes from a in, in, in research, that goes from a background of about one, 15 out of every 100 women needing that up to about 20 out of every 100 women needing um, some help with the delivery if they had an epidural in. The other advantage of an epidural, of course, is if you've got it in and if you do then require a caesarean section, it can be topped up with much stronger local anaesthetic to make you much more numb, um, and that is usually sufficient for um, having the caesarean section without requiring any additional procedure and without requiring a general anaesthetic.